Hello, Beret Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beret Hills, and welcome to another piece of tea of the day. Girl, girl, just like stop right there because everything is about to change with this whole situation of Kathy Hilton and Carl Richards in Aspen. Okay, like it's going to change major, and I cannot believe that we have been manipulated by people like Lisa Rena for months just to get here. Like, it's insane. And we definitely, definitely need to talk about it. But before we get into it, do not forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you want to support my channel. Now you can do it through the thank bottom right here. And let's talk about this mess. Dios mío. No. My friend, my soulmate, my sister. I am so glad that Juan Dixon is not here right now. Erica, I don't have to make you look bad. You can do that on your own. Better? Is bitch better? I'm shaking. I'm physically shaking. Girl, like, I cannot believe that they did us like that. Like, you did us wrong. You did us wrong, people, okay? But before we talk, it's time to give a shout out to the sponsors of this video, the people from Liquid IV. Girl, this is so good if you are into like exercising, walking, hiking, swimming, whatever, or if you're doing sports, whatever you do that you are losing uh, water, this is for you, okay? It um rehydrates you twice uh, two times faster than water okay it replenish electrolytes it's really 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 good and it comes on all these amazing flavors green apple watermelon passion fruit uh berry acai there are so many it's super convenient literally just like little envelopes that you um look you literally take one you put it on your water you are ready to go, okay? So, if you want to get some liquid IV, go to the link in the description of this video. Don't forget to use my discount code, Shademan Empire, and you will get 15% off plus free shipping. So, get your liquid IV right now. Okay, so, girl, let's talk about this, this thing in Very, Very Hills. <sighs> Do you guys remember many, many, many months ago, when we start hearing about Aspen, right? Do you remember that? And they were saying like, oh my God, Kathy Hilton had a meltdown. She, she was a horrible person. She screamed. She said, I am a white privilege. How do you know who I am? Uh, she screamed homophobic and racist lures. She was fighting with Kyle. She was throwing things at Kyle. She was doing the most. And it was like the most epic fight in the world that there was no footage. But like Kyle was like super upset about it. And then we keep like going and going and the story changed and changed and changed so many times, right? That we never knew exactly what was true or not. Um, insane, insane, you know? Like they wanted us to believe at the beginning and by day I'm thinking maybe Lisa Rena and Erica Jane that Kathy Hilton it was this a monster that she destroyed everything that she killed Kyle Richards basically you know like how it was even possible that she was acting this way well time passed by we start watching the show now we're here in Aspen the story like I said was changing all the time girl Sit down for this one because remember how everyone thought that Kathy ha was having a huge fight with Carl Richards and that that was kind of like what exploded the whole situation. You know, I, I know some of them say like, oh, it was because the DJ didn't want to put the song. But apparently, no, it was not because of that. It was because there was a lot of tension between Carl Richards and Kathy Hilton and something went down. Those were the rumors from the beginning. Girl. It was not like that at all. 
Nothing, nothing, nothing at all. To the point that Kyle and Kathy didn't even fight at the club. There was no explosive moment, okay? Kathy was upset. And she told Kyle that she was going to leave, you know? And she was very upset. That, that's, that's what we know so far. Something happened. Now, there are people saying that Kyle was producing Kathy too much during this whole trip until there was a point of no return. So Kathy was upset. Well, Kathy Hilton left. That's what she does when she's upset. She was like, I'm leaving. I don't want to be here anymore. And she was so upset. And then Lisa Rena magically decided to jump in the car with her. Well, the point is... Kyle never heard absolutely anything that Kathy was saying about her, okay? She doesn't know nothing of what allegedly Kathy Hilton was saying about her. You know who is going around saying what was said by Kathy Hilton? None other than Lisa Rena. okay? So this whole drama that we have been waiting and waiting, okay? It's all about believing 100% on Lisa Rena and Lisa Rena going to Kyle and tell her what her sister allegedly said with no proof. She never thought like, I'm going to record this. No, I mean, she had a phone, but she never thought like, I'm going to take a secret video so I can, I, I, I can tell Kyle, no. So there is no proof. There, the, we don't know exactly what was said, okay? And everything, absolutely every. I mean, we already know that bunch, most of the things were coming from Lisa Rena's mouth. But this is to the point that there was not even a real fight between Kathy and Kyle. Lisa got in the middle so much and she told Kyle a bunch of BS of what Kathy Hilton allegedly said about her. But there is no proof. There is nothing. Nothing. Okay? So, apparently, I mean, Lisa Rena is saying that, oh, she said look, the whole thing of I'm going to destroy Kyle and her family, even if it's the last thing uh, I do. But apparently, according to Lisa Rena, she says so much more and it was dark and she, went not, she didn't want to repeat it and she didn't want to tell Kyle and all of that. And we even go to the point that Kyle is literally saying, I don't want to know what she was saying about me. So Kyle is deciding to believe whatever Lisa Rena told her. Then she doesn't speak to Kathy at all to try to clear the air, okay? And then she stopped talking to Kathy like Kathy was the bad one. So once again, Kyle Richards is being brainwashed and manipulated by Lisa Rena. She is repeating the exact same pattern that she did with Lisa Vanderpump. She is decided to believe Lisa Rena, or Lisa Rena is brainwashing her and manipulate the hell out of Kyle, you know? And she is deciding, oh, then Lisa is right. When there was not even a fight. Like, there was not even nothing that Kathy actually said to Kyle that was that bad. Oh, but whatever. But she didn't say anything to Kyle, but she definitely said something to Lisa. Bitch. Kathy doesn't even like Lisa. Okay? I don't think Kathy, knowing who Lisa Rena is, was going to be going around talking all this shit about her sister, knowing that Lisa Rena was going to go and tell uh, Kyle. Kathy's not dumb. Okay? She is very smart. She will never do something like that. So all of this anticipation is coming from literally nowhere. There is nothing behind all of this whole mess other than Lisa Rena's mouth. Girl, I'm dead. I'm so sorry. If Bravo doesn't see after this that we cannot deal with someone like Lisa Rena anymore, I don't know. I don't know what, it, what we do we need to do, honestly. So anyways, that's it, guys. Um, that's it. 
and it will be talk at the reunion. And Kyle is going to have a moment and she's going to be very upset and she's going to cry and she's going to walk off and try to compose herself and come back. We know that all of that is going to happen at the reunion. But everything is coming from whatever Lisa Rena is saying. Girl. Mm -mm -mm. Too messy. Too messy. So anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments below about this whole mess and this whole situation. Uh, can you believe that we were played like this for so long? Can you believe that? Girl. Anyways, so let me know, and like always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you around. See ya! Bye!